Hey, hey, everybody. I'm going to finish a, um, this is a layer of resin, a couple ounces <clears throat> with a gold cross that's embedded in it. And I'm going to have about 16 ounces mixed, maybe about eight for here or less. And I've got a new mold that takes eight ounces, but I don't know if I'll use all eight in it. So I may do, you know, another coaster or some jewelry or whatever with leftovers. But I used medium viscosity, equal parts A and B. I mixed for six minutes. And I've got my timer going. After I finished mixing it, I start my timer. Because I want to hit it at about 30 minutes. And that'll be the time for piping when your resin is kind of at its special place where it turns into a secret sauce and it does beautiful things. So I'm setting up piping bags and cups. I'm filming this on Easter Sunday and I just want to wish you all the happiest of Easter's and what a beautiful day it was today for me at church. Beautiful lesson. I'm grateful for the life that I have and the blessings I've been given and for wonderful and fabulous grace. So I hope that you have a really special Easter day. And uh, so we've got four colors or you know, four different resins I'm going to mix. I want a white, a gold, and uh, I'm going to mix some resin into some gold leafing, which is actually pink gold leafing. And then I'm going to do two shades of pink, a deeper pink and a pale pink. Uh, so I'll have white, pale pink, a deeper pink, and gold in my resins. And then I'll have some metallic leaf that I'll show you. So let's just see. Let's start with the metallic leaf. I've got a pack of this on Amazon. Just wanted to show you. It is a definite, it's not rose gold, it's pink. Uh, the, the rose gold, say it, you just touch it and it sticks to your hands. The rose gold is more uh, copper looking still. The request for these, this custom piece was definitely lots of sparkle and pinks so that's why I bought the pink gold leaf but I am going to mix in some regular gold leaf so I'll have a little of both because it'll break up into little chunks when I stir my resin in so I'm just going to put in a few sheets these are um, little shreds and I've had this jar probably for a year and it's still going strong. It just keeps fluffing up. It doesn't kind of go away. So once you purchase a thing of it, it lasts forever. So I've got gold leaf and the rose pink gold leaf. So what I'll do is I'll just pour a little bit of resin, maybe about an ounce or so. I may use this in both molds. So. We'll try that first and just kind of see what it, after we stir it up, what it looks like. And I may have put too much gold leaf and I really wanted the, uh, the pink to really stand out, but that is okay too. Got a big old chunk of gold here. I have to kind of break it up when you stir it. We'll do about an ounce and a half of, gold, of uh, resin with the gold leaf in it. So it's got some pink gold leaf and gold gold leaf. Pink gold leaf and gold gold leaf. Pink leafing and gold leaf is what I really mean to say. I don't want any big chunks though. And I'm also going to add for sparkle some pink glitter. She said the more, the more sparkle the better. So this is where the sparkle is going to come into play. I'm not going to do the sparkle so much in what I'm going to pipe into the piece. So I want the sparkle to be around the edge. There's a big chunk. 
I've got to break that up. So right now I'm at around nine minutes of my resin being mixed. I started the timer after mixing it. So you just keep an eye on your timer. I'm going to put that other gold leaf, the pink leaf aside. Oh, let's put a little more glitter in. Why not? It really gives it more of a pink cast overall, which is what I definitely wanted. I could have used more pink leaf, but I'm I think I'm pretty pleased with that. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so we'll add resin to our little cups and we'll do probably I may add a little back into my resin trays. I'm just checking for any hairs before I pour the resin. resin to do this one and okay, we'll do something different we'll do it in the dandelion mold how about that this mold holds 10 ounces so I guess because I have so much of the colors here is why I've got this round mandala okay so white and gold about an ounce each the pinks about a half ounce each and then I've got an ounce and a half or so of the gold leafing here oh and I was going to use this too oh my goodness blushing bride by counterculture that just makes it prettier it really does now then 16 minutes keeping an eye on my time center of the dandelion. For this one I'm going to put Lollipop from Funshine Color Shop Etsy. Link will be below. Okay, so this was Lollipop and I'm going to put one drop of magenta alcohol ink. Okay, so that's that one. This is Pinkalicious. Very pretty. And I'm going to add a healthy drop of white and two drops. I want to lighten it slightly, make it a really pale pink. I want to make sure that you can see a difference. I put two more drops. Okay. This one I'm going to put Sparkle White by Funshine Color Shop. Nice healthy dose of that. This one you can add to any color for sparkle. And I'm going to put Armor Art. I'm going to put a squeeze of the white pigment in there. It has the sparkle in it, which is what I'm wanting. And then I'm going to put a couple of drops of alcohol ink, just because I like to, for some reason, I just like to do the mixture of the mica and alcohol ink, if I can. This one's going to be the gold. I'm using mica flax and gold by color, I mean by counterculture. First time using this one, but it's about the same color as my cross, which is a good thing. Put a little spark, Sparkle Miner's Gold from Sunshine Color Shop in. Just put a little more sparkle. And I'm going to put a couple of drops of alcohol ink, rich gold. 
That's not what I'll mix up. Okay, it's been 24 minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and transfer my paints to my... They're warm, but not super warm, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in. Flax and gold is more like an antique gold or brass color, and it's perfect for the spray paint gold that I sprayed the cross with. The last time you can stir it is before you put it into the bag, so stir it really well, make sure it's well mixed up. A little bit of sparkle white to this um, lollipop pop, just a little bit. That's just to give it a little bit more shimmer, a little more sparkle in it. never used this mold before so this is just for fun experimental purposes and it's super thin you can I bet there's you can't get more than an ounce of resin in here so it's going to set up quicker because it's so so shallow so you have to keep those things in mind when you're working with your resins Heat, warmth, when it's ready to pipe, when it's starting to set up and get kind of syrupy and sticky and, you know, that kind of thing. So, just keep that in mind. I'll take this and put it in the little dog. Thirty-two minutes. So I'm gonna oh, let me get this get this out to the edge if I can. I could have put this in first and then the clear. I probably should have done that. The thing with the cross is bubbles will kind of keep coming up. You have to kind of keep an eye on that. Cut off small, and you can always go bigger on your piping bags. Get it too big, and it's gonna kind of do weird on you. Turn my cups over and let the resin go that way, and it's easier to just pop out of the plastic. 
bright gold crushed glass bits from Laura's Art Corner. I'm gonna check it. These have been curing um, seven or eight hours. So, not fully cured as far as hard, but you can touch them, they're not sticky or anything like that. So here's that side, which is pretty. Okay, so it's etched. Can you see the etching? So it just kind of gives a soft, um, almost like gardening looking background. So I like to lay things down on parchment paper. Nothing sticks to it. Okay, so this is the dandelion. So I just I was just having fun doing, you know, the piping thing. So it doesn't hurt to try it on different molds, right? So it's pretty. And then if you see it there, you can see the dandelion etching. It's just something different. I could actually almost form that into a bowl, but it's kind of thick. And when I make bowls, I like to do it a little thinner, so I don't think I'm going to try to bend it. Little dog tag. Got some spillage, but um, pretty. I'll uh, let it really cure good before I trim it. This is just the leftover gold and white shimmer that I had. There it is, more earrings. Now, put parchment paper down. So the request for this cross was gold and pinks and lots of sparkle. So that's why I put so much sparkle around the edge. So here's the bottom side. Here's the top side. on a white background so you can see it. I kind of went crazy with the uh, <laughs> the looping. Yeah, I just did lots of little thin lines. Good. Rosy, pink, the white, and the gold cross on top. And then in here is the gold leaf, the pink leaf, and then um, that other glitter, Blushing Bride. So this is for an 82-year-old lady. I think she's going to like it. I think so.